Hey friends, welcome to One Flight Down Basement Beer Tastings. Today we're checking out a beer from Section 6 Brewing in Brandon, Manitoba. Uh, it's called Combine. It is a dry hopped cerveza. Right, so um, this is a brewery I've been meaning to feature for a while. I did actually feature one of their beers recently, uh, the Light Surface uh, I did on the uh, Fuck You Winter uh, Chug Challenge. Um, I chugged that light beer down in nine seconds. Pretty proud of that time because I'm not a chugger and I managed to do that. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't tell you much about the beer. When you chug a beer, you don't you don't get the best sense of what it's like. It went down easy. It tasted fine. I don't know. Uh, I can't really say for sure. Um, but I have to add some other beers from Section 6. And um, they were pretty good. But I have not had the opportunity to do one on the show yet. Uh, fairly new brewery. I think it opened in 2023 uh, in Brandon. Because it's, it's quite new. Um... And yeah, uh, so this one is a dry hop cerveza. It is 4.5% alcohol. So again, a lighter beer. Uh, I actually picked this up at the same time as I got the light that I did on the uh, F*** You Winter Chug Challenge. But I kind of thought that uh, this one has the potential of having more flavor to it. Uh, so I didn't do this one for the challenge and saved it for today. Uh, so let's crack this open. See what we have inside. Pour my Winnipeg Jets glass. It's a really light looking beer. I mean, 4.5% alcohol, cerveza, Mexican style beer. I mean, that's what you're expecting, right? A, a nice light color on it. Check that out. I bet you're seeing my face today, aren't you? Yeah, you can see my face in this beer. Even through that Jets logo, you can see my face. Uh, yeah, that is a very clear beer with a very, um, huge upside down snowfall going on. Check that out. Uh, very active beer on the nose. Not much really. Um, I mean, there's a little, I, I get something. I just, it's not malty. It's not fruity or piney. Yeah, I get something on the nose. Very faint. Not something I normally associate uh, with other beers. Yeah, I don't know what I'm getting there. That's interesting. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but that's uh, that's what I got on the nose. Uh, all right. So as uh, my buddy Dave from Dave's TV would say, Enough smelling it, enough looking at it. Let's get down to drinking it. Cheers, my friends. I'm not going to, but I probably could chug this one too. Um, it's got a sweet note to it. Got a real sweet note. It's a super light body. Um, it's got... But it's got kind of a silky smooth mouthfeel. Like it's not, it's not crisp like I thought it would be. And I do get that touch of like a piney note at the end uh, that you get with certain kinds of hops. Uh, but I wouldn't say that it's bitter in any way. Um... I could see this being fairly refreshing on a summer day, um, but it is uh, a little sweet. Uh, and it's not. If, if I'm looking for that summertime kind of a beer, I, I, I go for something with a little more of that, like, like kind of a crisp quality to it. And it doesn't quite have that, but it's, I mean, it's tasty. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it's different. Like it's uh, when you see cerveza, 
um, kind of have a certain thing in your mind that it's going to be, but it's a dry hopped cerveza, which is a little different, right? Uh, so yeah, it's, it's definitely uh, got a hoppiness to it, but a very mild hoppiness. Uh, yeah, it's it's a touch bitter at the end, but just just a touch. Um, it's quite nice. It's a decent, decent beer. Um, not my favorite thing in the world, but it's, it's, I would have it again. I would totally have this again. Yeah, overall, pretty decent beer. All right, so uh, thank you all for dropping by the Terry Isle Basement Pub. See you all again real soon, my friends. Cheers.